making his way to the cage, Ran Weathers. A lot of fights. He is here to fight. That's what he wants to do. That is his job. 17 and 16 and 5 and 3 years an amateur. That's a lot of fights, Ryan. That's a lot of fights for a 32-year-old uh, fighter. Knocked out Diego Brandao in 09. Now, Diego is new. But still, when you've knocked out a guy who's making his living in the UFC, you're doing something right. That's right. No stranger to Virginia is Rand. He uh, was featured in the main event for a local promotion named Respect is Earned a number of years ago. Uh, he actually did take a loss in that fight to Bo Baker. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Rand is um, he's seasoned, he's a veteran, and he's here to fight and uh, not make it easy for Dewan Owens. Bo Baker, there you go, mentioning another guy in that MMAI stable of fighters throughout the state. Bo Baker, Kyle Baker, and we could do a whole show on them. We could, we could. But this show's about Ran. Ran, as I said, took the fight on two days' notice, didn't have a corner, didn't have anything. You see Coach uh, Viet Lee from Team Assassin, Coach Ramos from Team Assassin, actually signing up to corner Ran for this fight. That's what's great in this MMA community is the camaraderie. Somebody you don't even know, hey, they're going to take you to a fight. They're going to corner you. They're going to support you. And his opponent, Juan Owen. Eight-year-old Dewan Owens makes his way to the cage. Four years in the Marine Corps. Big fan of Jose Aldo. And here's maybe one of the more interesting things about any fighter here tonight. Dewan, if you've seen his fights before, he does not mind a knockdown brawl. Nasty kicks. He'll throw spin kicks. He'll throw really nifty kicks from all sorts of angles. He is a ranked, rated player with the United States Chess Federation. So he's got the brains, he's got the brawn. He was a formerly world-ranked fighter at featherweight. He's taken this fight at a catch weight of 165 pounds. Dewan has actually had the worst luck of anyone on this card. He's had two opponents fall through. He was originally scheduled to fight on the Draca Rules fight. Both opponents fell through. Again, I can't say enough. Ran Weathers on two days' notice takes the fight. Uh, under unified rules, this fight is. So uh, Dewan has had a week unlike any other. <laughs> And about 30 pro and Amy fights, too, combined for Dewan. You know, when you've got a guy like Dewan and a guy like Ram, they go, sure, let's put on a show. Well, and Dewan uh, relocated from Durham, North Carolina, for this fight camp. Again, we can't mention them enough. MMA Institute here in Richmond, Virginia, relocated for a two- or three-week fight camp. Been in the gym every day, dedicating his, his life to this fight. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds of unified rules, mixed martial arts, and a catch weight of 165 pounds. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall and weighed in at 162 and one half pounds. He is a mixed martial artist. His professional record, 17 victories, opposite 16 defeats, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, Rand Weathers. His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the red corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. His official weight, 165 and one half pounds. He is a mixed martial artist. His professional record, eight victories, opposite seven defeats with a one draw. Fighting out of Durham, North Carolina, Dewan Dirty South Owens. Your referee, Mike King. Dewan born in Gulfport, Mississippi. Started out as an MMA fan, Jay. Never never trained, just followed it as a fan, got into it, trained, and, and here we are. Finding great success in the sport. He was busy playing chess. He was busy playing chess. And getting quite good.
And you talk sheer number of fights in the cage. This might be the most experience combined that we'll see in the cage all evening. This, this absolutely oh. is no doubt. Great kick by Nifty Owens. Nifty little sidekick by Owens right to the ribs of Weathers. Yeah, we talk about the great training partners of Owens. I mean, let's let's talk about the training partners Rand Weathers has, has uh, encountered in his career at Jackson's MMA. There you go again, reading my mind. I was just thinking that very same thing. I mean, the list of guys out of that gym. World champions. That's a good position for Rand Weathers to have right now. Excellent control by Weathers. And Owens has his work cut out for him down there. He'll have to watch out for elbows. Unified rules fight. Yeah, talking to Rand Weathers earlier in the week, I, I kept calling him a, a BJJ fighter because I, that's all, you know, he trained under the Asun Sal's and, and, you know, Greg Jackson's. And he said, no, brother, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an all-around fighter. I like standing up. Quit calling me a BJJ fighter. Said, yes, sir. <laughs> so, yes, I will. <laughs> One of his previous fights that I was watching, the kicks were fast and furious. That side kick was the one that impressed me the most. As Owens tries to get his back, keeps his hand out of the cage, trying to get his back to the cage to work his way up. Weather's doing a terrific job of preventing that from happening. Well, you know, Rand is in a completely different position at this point as, as opposed to when we talked about his fight with Bo Baker. Uh, Bo Baker, the great wrestler, dominated that fight. Rand Weathers with top position. Unlike that Bo Baker fight. Great job. Great job out of Owens working his way back to his feet. Again, the experience of both fighters showing through in this bout. Owens really trying to work that right underhook and uh, circle off that cage. I always compared Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu to chess when I would explain it to people. And Dewan Owens has proved me right. Thank you, Dewan. <laughs> <laughs> Couple of high knees out of Owens. And Weathers plants him back onto the mat. Oh, beautiful job by Owens to regain his feet and throws in a knee for good measure. As Owens drags Weathers to the ground, maybe starting to work for a choke. Oh, here's the experience of Rand Weathers. Exactly, right, able to escape right out the back door. But you can see fatigue starting to weigh in for Ran Weathers. The mouth is open, oh. breathing heavy. A lot of work for both fighters here early in this first round. And Dewan Owens with those kicks. Side kick, round kick, side kick. Owens coach Rick McCoy telling him to save up, save those kicks, save that energy. So far in this first round, Jay, Weathers doing a very good job of, of, for the most part, controlling Owens, controlling his posture, controlling his movement, keeping a lot of this fight against the cage. Exactly, and not taking too much damage from those kicks. A lot of hand fighting. This is really a fight for the MMA connoisseur. When you're You've got close to 70 fights worth of experience in this yes. cage. You know, when you're fighting a kicker such as Owens, you, you do not want to be on the end of those kicks. So closing the gap, as Weathers has done, is the right strategy at this point. Indeed, and now he's for his troubles, he's eating some knees. As Owens' corner wants him to break and drop some shots, Weathers having none of it. A 
another entertaining round here at Rock of 15, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. Both fighters working hard, using their experience, both getting a chance to implement at least some of their game plan, thanks to Shanti. Shanti and Nicole covering the ring girl duties tonight. Well, you can see in the corner of Rand Weathers, good first round for Weathers, maybe enough for him to take that round, but he is uh, visibly fatigued. Coach Lee uh, got the ice pack on the back of the neck, drinking water. You know, again, two-day fight notice. What, you know, the guy's tired. He's, he's tired. He hasn't been training like he should, but he's here. He's putting on a, a show for the fans. And, again, I give him round one, 10-9. I agree. And gameness is the term that comes to mind for both these fighters, especially a short-notice fighter. No matter how good a shape you are in, you are not in fighting shape necessarily when you take a fight that on is, two days' notice. That is true. And if I'm Coach Rick McCoy, I'm telling DeJuan Owens to just charge out of the gate in the start of this round, just bring the pressure, put it right on Ryan, who's visibly tired. But all that experience out of, oh, there's that sidekick again. Two sidekicks out of Owens. And they took your playbook, Ryan. Look at this pressure from Owens. Well, what what dewan has got to guard against is getting overexcited with all these kicks, all these flying knees. Uh, that's how you get caught. He's, he had a great exchange there, started the round out very well. Uh, but he's, he's got to reel it back in a little bit. Getting the judge, judge's attention early, but Weathers, Absolutely. so calm, so cool, collected, knows it was a short notice fight. He's been in this position before. He knows what to do. He's won fights where he's been worse off than this. Rode out the storm and uh, right, right back in, in dominant position. Oh, that's a good knee from Owens. Tried to sneak one up high. Second one went right into the bread basket. The old boxing yeah. guys would talk, call that putting your money in the bank <laughs> when you get those body oh. blows going. A, a strong knee that visibly, visibly hurt Rand. Took a lot of wind out of him. Dewan's corner want, wants him to get some distance. Work those strikes. Owens corner calling for the break. And Rand Weathers hears it and does everything he can to prevent it. Really technical hand fighting. There's a, a small victory for Weathers. Oh, big knee. Big elbow out of, oh, here comes Dewan. Putting the pressure on. But once again, Weathers using that experience to weather the storm. Takes another big elbow from Owens. This could big be straight it. Straight right from Owens. This could be it. And that's a knockout for Dewan Owens. And some break dancing out of Dewan Owens. And boy, Owens can take a lot of satisfaction out of that win. Fought a tough guy, knocked out a tough guy. Sure, he took the fight on two days' notice. But when you can beat a guy like Rand Weathers with his pedigree, doctor coming in to tend to Weathers. Weather sitting up, he appears to be fine. And we're going to see replay here. That straight right from Owens. That's what really started this onslaught. Hooks. Owens doing a good job changing levels, body, head. A couple of those landed quite flush. Referee Mike King steps in. Weathers back on his feet. As Owens is congratulated by 
Terrell Hobbs, head coach Rick McCoy. It's good to see Weathers up on his feet walking around. Getting hugs. A lot of experience, really technical, really entertaining fight. And once again, props to Rand Weathers. Taking this fight on two days' notice against the guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout ends at 2 minutes 19 seconds of the second round. Your winner by knockout, Dewan Dirty South Owen. Fighter I'm here with your winner, There's Ryan. Dewan, Dirty South Owens. Dewan, quite a week for you. You had two opponents fall through on this card. First of all, props to Rand Weathers for taking this fight on two days' notice and putting on a great show. Let's hear it for Rand. But back to this great win, Dewan. Again, a tough week. You, you, you had two opponents fall through. You could have given up. You persevered. Talk about how you're feeling right now. All right. Uh, right now, I'm ecstatic, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had, I had two opponents back out. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of people buy hotels, spend money on tickets. I was paranoid, you know, so I, I, started, I broke my diet, started eating. And then uh, they said they found somebody last minute and got the weight off. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thanks to the promotion for letting me come out here and represent. Big fat shout out to uh, MMA Institute. If you're serious about MMA in Virginia, you better be training at the Institute. Big, big fat shout out to K-Side MMA, the owner of Bullworth, my man, my brother. I love you. Shout out to my queen. She came all the way out here from New Jersey, brought her family out here. So, you know, it's all the popping out here. Much love and respect to everybody. And, th and, and thanks to Rand Weathers for stepping up late notice to take a fight. I mean, if he would have taken this fight, I'd have been asked out. So, thank you. Thank you. Great performance. We look forward. And listen, guys, if you like what you see, tell these guys to bring me back out here so I can fight again. We'll do it. Juan Owens, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Rand Weathers, master of fighting. Master of chess, master of self-promotion.